Welcome students for this session. Today in this session we are going to learn the 9th standard poem The Village School Master written by Oliver Goldsmith. You might all see in the village. You might have lived in a village so you know how the village will be. Okay. Now in this point we are going to learn about the school master who was teaching in a village. Okay. Before we could learn this poem, I, let's learn about our poem. Oliver Goldsmith. Okay. He was an Irish novelist. Oliver Goldsmith is an Irish novelist. And he is a playwright. Playwright. He's a playwright. And of course. He is a poet. Yes. Our Oliver Goldsmith is an Irish novelist and playwright, and of course, he's a poet. Okay. And he was awarded the degree of Doctor of Medicine. That means if we want to become a doctor, we have to write neat exam, okay, and we have to complete MBBS, then only we will become a doctor. In the same way, in olden days, they have to complete their degree of doctor of medicine. Okay. And he has completed that, but he did practice as a doctor because he started to have interest. He was having interest to write novels, playwright and poem. That's why he didn't practice as a doctor. And now we are going to learn what are his famous works. What are his famous works? Famous works. They are first the traveler. The traveler. Vicar of Wakefield. If you do your after your PO, if you do your BA English, there you will have this one. Vicar of Wakefield. And the deserted village. There are some works still. She stoops to conquer that and all his famous work. So here we will write the deserted village. The deserted. We can't write all the works now. That's why I am writing a specific work which is very famous. Deserted village. Our poem, the village school master, also is taken from the work, the deserted village. Now let's learn about the poem. Dear students, if you have a chance, ask your parents or your grandparents. It's better if you ask your grandparents about their schooling. No? It will be very interesting. There will be one village. In that village, there will be one school. In that school, there will be one headmaster, um, headmaster and one or two teachers. Okay. Not only the students will have contact with the headmaster, instead the whole village people will be having contact with the headmaster. And because the village people will be very innocent, uneducated, no? So whatever the problems that they are facing in their family and also the whole village, they used to share with the uh, headmaster, school headmaster and they used to get suggestion or advice from him. Sometimes now when they do wrong also they will be having fear for headmaster. So in this poem also we are going to learn about the headmaster, about the characteristics of the headmaster who is respected by all the villagers okay, due to his knowledge and interest for learning. Now, let me read the whole poem. Beside yon straggling fence that skirts the way, with blossom the first unprofitably gay, there in his mansion, skilled to rule, the village master taught his little school. A man, severe he was and stern to view. I knew him well and every taunt knew. Well had the body tumblers learned to praise the day's disaster in his morning face. Full well they laughed with counterfeited glee 
At all his jokes for many a joke had he. Full well the busy whisper circling round. Conveyed the dismal tidings when he frowned. Yet he was kind or uh, if severe in art. The love he bore to learning was in fault. The village all declared how much he knew. Twas certain he could try it and suffer too. Lengths he could measure, terms and time present. And even the story ran that he could gauge. In agreeing to, the person owned his skill. For even though vanquished, he could argue still. While words of learnt length and thundering sound miss the guessing rustics ranked round. And still they gazed and still the wonder grew that one small head could carry all he knew. Okay. Now learn stanza by stanzas. Beside yon straggling fence that skirts the way. Yon meaning over there. Yon. Over there. Okay. Straggling meaning spread out or irregular. Here it means irregular, straggling. Skirts meaning go around, goes around, skirts. And the second line it is given that fuzz. That is nothing but grass. Okay. Now we came to know the meaning of the first and second line. Okay. Beside young straggling fen that skirts the way with the blossoms first and profitably gay. That means all in the uh, village school, school master runs a school in a village. In this first answer, we can come to know about the location of school. Okay, the school is situated in near the irregular fence. Okay, if school is near means there are irregular fence. You know the fence, no? Like compound, the district under they used to do. So like compound. So there are the fence which is irregular. Okay, it was near that. And the road to the next line is given with blossoms first and profitably give. That means the road towards the school. Okay. Near that there were flowers and grasses. Flowers and grasses which were not admired and appreciated by the people. Okay. The road towards the school near the road was where grasses and flowers. It was blossoming flowers but it were not appreciated or admired by the people. There in this mansion, skilled to root. Okay. Here our speaker uh, tells the school as a noisy mansion. You might have seen the mansion. You might have known the mansion. Mansion is like hostel lot where the people will be staying. Many people will be staying together. In the same way, this school also mentioned here as a mansion. Okay. okay. The village master taught his little school. Yes. And the village master was teaching in this little school. Okay. And the, from this first answer, we can come to know about the location of school. The school is located near the irregular fence. And in the roads towards the school near the, there were many flowers and grasses which were not appreciated and admired by the people. And also our speaker mentioned that the school is a noisy mans mansion in which our schoolmaster was teaching. Okay. Now let's move on to second stanza. Okay. A man severe he was and stern to view. Stern meaning strict. Stern meaning strict. Okay. 
Okay. I knew him well and every taunt him. Taunt meaning the people, those were away from school. What means? A man severe, he was concerned to view. Yeah. By looking at them, by looking at his headmaster itself, we can come to know that he is very strict and disciplinary. Okay. Not only our speaker knows, but the whole village people, the people, those who are away from school also know him very well. Okay. Well had the boarding tumblers learned to dress the day's disaster in his morning face. Yes. Okay. As our speaker says that our school headmaster is very strict and disciplinary. Not only our speaker knows, but all the people, those who are away from school also knows about the schoolmaster who is very strict. Okay. The students, those who are in school, those who are studying in the school, you know, they have learned to uh, learn to know the mood of the headmaster by looking at his face itself. That means I will tell you a simple example. Yeah? Students, no, when the teacher enters itself, they will be keenly looking at her and his face. How the face is looking. Whether he is angry or he is okay, happy like that. They will be looking and passing the comments. Okay, And they will come to know by looking at the face of the teacher itself, they will be thinking that whether this day how it will be. They will come to know about the day. Okay, the same way the students also learn to read the uh, feelings of the headmaster, whether how this day will be. Okay. The day's disaster in his morning face by looking at his face itself, uh, the day is whether it will be a disaster, or happy one like that, they will come to know. Next, move on to third stanza. Full well they learnt with third stanza. Full well, they laughed with counterfeited glee. Counterfeited glee means pretending joy. Counterfeited. Counterfeited. Counterfeited glee. That means pretending joy. That means pretending joy. At all his jokes for many for many a joke had he. Full well they busy whisper circling round. Conveyed the dismal tiding when he frowned. Dismal means miserable. Dismal meaning miserable. Yeah. Dismal meaning miserable. From the stanza, we will come to know that whenever our schoolmaster tells some jokes, the children laugh with pretend and joy. Yes, yes, of course, as we said before, he is a very strict and disciplinarian, but he also is a humorous person. Okay, whenever he says jokes, no, sometimes if someone says joke, we will not feel like laughing, but the joke is good only, but still we won't feel like laughing. But if we won't laugh, they will feel bad and Somewhat. So, to make them happy, we will pretend to be enjoying the joke. In the same way, though the student don't feel to laugh at his joke, but still they, pre still they express the pretended joy. Okay? Yes. If they notice this, in the next line, it is tell, told that if they notice that he is anger, the students will not keep quiet. They will pass the message to everyone in the class that he is angry like that. Slowly they whisper and um, pass the message to all the students that this day is going to be very miserable because our headmaster, our teacher is very angry. Yes. Next we will uh, go to next. Now let's learn the fourth stanza. Yet he was kind, or uh, if severe in art. Yes, the love he bore to learning was in fun. Though he is very strict, still yet he is very kind. 
The love he brought to learning was in fact, if at all. Is Paul means what we can tell that? Tell that means the learning, the third, the eagerness for learning is a fault. Yes, of course, this is not a fault. If we want to find fault, means we can tell that alone. Okay, the desire for his learning is a fault. And the village all declared how much he knew. It was certain he could write and suffer too. Yes. The whole village people praised him and admired at him. For what? For his knowledge. For his great knowledge. And he was a great writer. Our village schoolmaster is a great writer. And he can do solve the problems in Max also. So the village people were respected him for his great knowledge. Yes. Lands he could measure. Terms and time presage, and even the story ran that he could gush in arguing too. The person on his skill, for even though vanquished, he could argue still. Vanquished meaning defeat. Vanquished meaning defeat. Let, let me explain this fifth stanza. Okay. Our village master, as I said before in fourth stanza, that our village master is a very good writer. Yes. He can write and can do mathematics and he can predict weather also. Okay. Predict weather patterns and trees. And it also assumed that he can do accurate survey without measuring. Okay. Yes. He is a very knowledgeable person that is a very good writer. He does some mathematics and he can predict the weather, whether it will rain, how the weather will be, whether it will be sunny, whether it will be raining, all those things. He can predict and say and it is also assumed that he can accurate the survey. Okay, land alarm measuring and he knows. Okay, to measure the land, everything he knows. He, he, he can do accurate survey and determine borders easily. Okay, he can find out the borders and he can accurate the survey. He can also debate intelligently and have discussions with our village person. Okay, in village, you know, when the people are free, you know, they will be sitting under the tree and they will be having debate. Like they will be arguing about something. So the village schoolmaster also has the talent to participate in the debate. He simply doesn't participate. He used to defeat the people by his points. Okay, he used to defeat very well. He used to debate. In debate, he used to talk very well. And for even though vanquished, he could argue still. In the debate, whether even though he defeated, he won also, he will not stop talking. He will be again and again, he can speak. Okay. After defeating the other opponent team also in debate, still he will be, he will be talking more. That means he has that much knowledge. Okay. Yes. Hands on. While words of learned length and thundering sound made the gazing rustics run around, and still they gazed and still the wonder grew that one small head could carry all he knew. Yes, nothing but this stanza, uh, our speaker tells about the uh, praising of people to schoolmaster. The village people used to admire him. They used to surprise in this small head how much knowledge he has. Okay. At last he is ending that the surprise, surprise of village people about the headmaster head. That is in the small head how much knowledge he is acquiring. Okay. I hope you understood this poem. To tell you overview about this poem is nothing but this whole poem is talking about the village school master who was very strict, disciplinarian and also very kind person and we can see about him, we can learn about his knowledge through this poem. I hope you understood 
and I have given you many meanings. Write it in your classwork. I am not going to give this meaning in PDF, but by looking at the whole video, you have to write, find out the meaning for all the words, whatever I had given, and write it in your classwork. Thank you, students.